Hello Galaxy Heroes. So, uh, I put a video out yesterday, Saturday, today's Sunday, the 10th of Jan, uh, 2021. Happy New Year to anyone that I haven't wished Happy New Year to so far. Um, <clears throat> previous one was uh, from Phase phase 3, are they Phases? Phase 3, yeah. Phase three onwards, end of phase three, into phase four, and forward from there, I believe. Um, and basically, what I was saying was, I just couldn't be asked to uh, do this. So, I thought about it, and I thought, you know what, let's show you. So, this is the bit that I keep editing out, uh, which is just the repetitiveness that is getting the perfect star. And basically the perfect star with well definitely with troopers um is that all five of them are still standing when you actually get to take a turn and as you can see it's not that easy it's quite interesting also of course the the rng here that um you know that sometimes they they kill everyone other times You've got four still standing and so on. So, it's, yeah, yeah, I'm not sure exactly how the algorithms work on there. But basically, the what you're looking for is all five standing. So, um, I should have taken a screenshot, but as far as I'm aware, Admiral Pi TT, or Piet, or whatever we call him, he is Relic 5. Veers, General Veers is Relic 3, as is Death Trooper. I believe, I think my Stark is also uh, Relic 3. And Range Trooper, well done me for remembering what his name is this time around, is Relic 2. None of them have a uh, full 6 series of mods, so they're all 5s predominantly if not totally gold but um but that's about it actually actually there might be a couple of sixes on stark because my stark is quite quick he's over 300 speed uh yeah other than that it's just the case of the repetitiveness that is um this and uh i don't know if if you watched yesterday's or if you have a, a look at yesterday's uh my first basically i was saying it was it was my first um tier three success since the um change unchange um something changed i don't know what changed uh, as far as i see i've never actually seen anything documented by the game devs on on what changed but all of a sudden um I don't know if, like you, but personally, I was using the Skelterix uh, game comp and um, with, uh, what's his name, Thrawn and the droids. Um, that was working fine. I was successful in tier three completions and then um, nothing changed, but suddenly couldn't do the Thrawn change, the, the Thrawn comp. Uh, weird very very weird so this is why i call it the change not change um because apparently nothing did change however um no longer able to use thrawn to get through and to be perfectly honest the the, the thrawn comp works so it's thrawn with uh b1 b2 um you've got a choice then of either bb8 or droidica and then Magna Guard as the fifth. And it takes approximately 57 hours per run. Um, and, you know, after 28 hours to get through to phase four and then get killed multiple times, you kind of, you know, you, you, you question whether life is actually worth living because it's just, it's so tedious, uh, soul-destroying to get so far. It takes so long to then have Tebow... Just one shot, <clears throat> your Magna Guard, and you're screwed then. At least Magna Guard. Yeah, so it was It was one that it was just, nah. Um, 
kind of we got close to it with this this round of the uh, galactic challenges the fact that you get stuck in a loop where one tune will stand there and stay there and you either have to force quit the game um or endure 15 minutes of one of your tunes being absolutely hammered by uh goth moth gideon and his imperial troopies um yeah so here we are finally we got them all to survive so basically the the idea is well the idea no no the whole thing about this is the fact that you got veers in here um and veers with the zeta means that um imperial troopers gain health and protection when they kill uh, a murder bear or more so, as you can see, we endured. Finally, we got into the run of things. And now we're on the turn meter and let's kill them train. Um, I should know all the technical names for all the abilities. Uh, I haven't got a Scooby. Sorry about that. But basically, the Admiral Pie thing is going on uh, Iron Man constantly. Iron Man, a.k.a. Stark. You see what I did there? Yeah, wrong franchise, I know, but right. So, um, and then my tactics are uh, just dispatch the reviver as soon as possible, um, and then just kill them before they they pretty much start moving. The more of them that you kill, um, the less of them there is to have a go at you, because you know the these are very 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 dangerous ewoks so we're going to target elder here uh we want to dispatch elder as soon as we can so he can't revive anyone and then because we're into phase three um then what i want to do is just work on once i've cleared them i think i'm trying to kind of protect my cooldowns the the most important cooldown as far as i'm concerned in this round is death troopers death mark because that we are saving for tebow in the next round because uh the uh, victims killed under death mark i believe cannot be revived so it doesn't matter that there are two elders that love reviving everyone um so here we go so we're now just gonna target the elders until we can get um death mark up so we've killed one so now we can now now we can now wow that's that's fantastic english by me well done mikey so there we go death mark you're gone um and now the rest of it should be pretty much straightforward bush bosh off you trot well actually fly up to heaven or wherever murder bears go when they die i don't know um, and now it's a case of, right, so we've got five scouts here. Scouts are notoriously dodgy, uh, but uh, we've got five troopers taking multiple goes. So even though they dodge so much, um, we still get them. Yay. And then, yeah, so as you can see, so what I do each time round is target onto the scouts, unless there's an elder, uh, as I say. If you've got a reviver, I want the reviver gone as soon as and then take out the scouts because the scouts have that additional um, massive arrow thing that, that tends to one-shot anyone they hit with it. So, yeah, let's not give them the opportunity. Plus, also, I believe it gives them turn meter as well. So you don't want... Yeah, you really don't want them doing that. But we're down to one final warrior he's gone sorry i was able to read the screen so now again looking at is kind of like maybe do something maybe use some of the specials to get the turn meter train rolling and then what we want to do is preserve as many as possible because of course what we're going to now next be facing is all of the super duper ewoks um and again you know we need to get rid a asap uh especially again you know you want the reviver gone that's that's my way around it anyway always target 
Ewok Elder, first of all, get rid of him. Once he's gone, nobody's being revived. Um, the next one we then want to do is get rid of Low Grey, really, because Low Grey does the days, and we don't really want to upset the um, all the assists, because, you know, it kills them quicker. So we've got rid of Elder, we've got rid of Low Grey, we've got rid of Wicket, uh, so no sticky Wicket. Quick reference there. <laughs> um, and then finally... Paplo, the taunting tank who didn't get a chance to taunt. Boom. Jobs are good. And there you go. So that is tier three, start to finish, done. Thank you for watching.